Hi everyone, I'm Adishon. On today's episode of Mailbox, we'll be talking about workplace. There are mails from different people in different places of work and some of the challenges they're facing. So the first mail for today is from Timile. Timile is from Dubai. He says, report fraud in my office. So there's an ongoing fraud in my office, which involves two people that are close to me. When I found out, they tried convincing me to join, saying it wasn't a big deal. They would give me a court. But reporting them will make me a snitch, but puts me in trouble. What do I do? So this guy has come to say, uh, he sent a mail to say there is a fraud going on in the office. So to start with, that you are confused on what to do about issue of fraud means that <laughs> to a certain extent, you are interested in the transaction. Because truth be told, for any decision that you know that genuinely is wrong, you should just come out of it almost immediately. And how can you come out of it? If you are involved, of course, you have to report it. That's the only way you can be exonerated. And that's the truth. Let's call it spade a spade. If there's fraud going on in your office and you know about it and they've told you about it and it's a great concern for you. In fact, it doesn't even have to be a great concern for you. Once it's a fraud and you know about it, I think you should report, uh, report to the authority. That's it. That, that ends your mail. That's it, Timile. So go ahead and report to your management. The next story is Kelechi. Kelechi is from Potako. She says, my boss husband is eyeing me. Mm, interesting. She says, I'm the, I'm the personal assistant to my female, female boss and I've been with her for two years. My work as a PA involves me going into her house sometimes and interacting with the family in general, including a flirt of a husband. From the first moment I met her husband, I noticed he was, I, he was being over friendly over time. Okay, and the story goes on. Avoiding him is inevitable. So long as I'm a PA to his wife, how do I handle this? So to start with Kelechi, I think a lot, a lot is going on on your head. So for you to actually call your husband, um, your boss's husband a flirt, it means that you already have a pictorial image of who he is, even if the guy has never approached you. Now, there's a book about the secrets. The secret talks about a lot of attraction, a lot of things that um, we find ourselves into this age and time is as a result of your internal um, thoughts. So there are a lot of things that in your head you've already you've already so you've heard that the guy is a friend the guy has not even approached you why not wait till he approaches you and if he approaches you he's very calm clean let your boss know about it if the job belongs to you you'll still be in the job because the truth about the matter is if you, if you really have to be working with your boss and you have to be interacting with the home there are some things you can have, um, avoid but for now the man has not approached you so we can't really say that he likes you or you are even one of his pecs so wait till then and when he approaches you speak to your guy about it i think that answers your question Kilichi. <music> terry from lagos he says my boss is become a thorn in my flesh hmm. my boss complains about almost everything i do I've worked in his logistics company for four years and over time he started acting funny to me. What does that mean? He's never satisfied with my decision as a facility manager and always looking for one fault or the other. There was a time I was his favorite, but gradually he started turning so. He cannot let me go because I'm literally the pillar that holds the company. Also, this job has re really helped me. So leaving is not an option. What do I do? So, this is why I tell people about bosses that are torn in the flesh. We cannot but pray for them. There's power in prayer. I've had experience of several bosses with several attitudes. And I'm, trust me, prayer can do a lot. Now, for you, Terry, um, don't ever think you are the pillar that holds anybody's life or anybody's company. You are not Jesus. So, get it straight. If you get promoted today or you relocate or your enemy dies, God forbid, or you move ahead for greater things, the company will continue. So a lot of us have it at the back of our head that um, 
maybe without us a company can move a company won't survive it's a lie some of us sometimes we are even in we want to find our place ourselves in the place of work just because of the love for the job you are just deceiving yourself you can only do what you can do and the truth about it is have it at the back of your mind that you don't want um, don't see yourself as trying to be in the good eye of the boss just ensure that you do your job and do it well a lot of times the work that we do speaks for us haven't you seen a situation whereby a boss does not even like you but he cannot but like you because of what you do so for a boss that is always complaining doesn't get satisfied always complaining just pray for them pray. prayer can do a whole lot of things so that's all we have for you on this episode of mailbox join me next time Thank you.